You guys, go tell the kids I said come on and eat because the mac and cheese is ready. The mac and cheese is ready. You guys, take a good look at this mac and cheese. This is a replica of Famous Dave, and it has a little smokehouse in it. And yo, yeah, you're on the right channel because I'm about to give you a game changer. Go check out the video if you want macaroni and cheese like this. Yes, this is a game changer. Look at that cheese. So yeah, go tell the rest of the fam. Come on in. Welcome back to the kitchen. You guys, you got to see this video, you guys. This is a quick way to have some enjoyable macaroni and cheese. Not the same old macaroni and cheese. This macaroni and cheese has a twist. You guys, how's everybody doing today? Good. Leave a comment below, okay? Let your girl know how you're doing. So, anywho, you guys, today we are going to bring us some mac and cheese a whole different way, okay? You guys, if you enjoy mac and cheese, you definitely will enjoy this video. You guys, I have tried it, and fam, I must say, it is amazingly good. And today we are going to use the crock pot. Yes, no sweat in the kitchen because it's too hot. To be turning on an oven, right? Yeah, you guys. So, yeah, we're going to use a couple of simple ingredients, you guys. We have some liquid smoke that we're going to put in this mac and cheese, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> liquid smoke, okay? So, we have some nacho cheese, jalapeno style, that we're going to put in here. Yes, we are, okay? But, we're going to use 60 second ready pasta you guys this is the first time i ever used this pasta but i do want to see how this turns out so hey if you're ready for this video stick around guys we are back okay so we have a crock pot pre-warmed well it's not pre-warmed it's heating okay we have it on high because, like I said, we're using 60 minute, I mean, 60 second pasta, you guys. Yeah. I couldn't find my regular noodles that I prefer, which is the large. Now, with this recipe, you guys, like I say, you will enjoy this if you're a mac and cheese lover. Because I get tired of the same mac and cheese all the time. You guys, all the time. But anywho, let's get the gloves on. Let's get the gloves on. Let's take this lid off. Yes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add us some butter in the bottom of this. Crock pot, yeah. As well as a little spray of olive oil. I don't know why, but I always like to put it in here. Okay? I thought I know it's non-stick. Let me reach over here. Get something to cut this butter with. I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter. Yeah, because you always got to add a little butter in your mac, okay? Now, this is ready. Pasta is fully cooked. And, yeah. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put a pre-warm on this. Let's check the noodles out. Okay. Check out the noodles.
Now, I do prefer to boil my own noodles. But, like I say, when I went into the store, and you guys, I'm just breaking up chunks. Because I guess by being on a shelf, you guys, that was the outcome of it. Okay? Let me reach over here and give me some napkin pads, you guys. Well, paper towel. And we're going to go ahead. And our next move is we're going to let these warm up a little. Okay? So, yeah. But we're going to the next phase. Okay, so we're back, you guys, and we're going to go, and we're going to prep everything so that we can have some quick mac and cheese. So, if you're familiar with Famous Day, then you know they add a little corn, just like so, okay? And now we're going to add our cheese sauce, our natural cheese sauce, and it has the jalapenos, peppers in it. We're going to add it just like so. And we're going to give that a twirl. Gonna give that a twirl. Now we're gonna add our liquid smoke. Now you say, well, why are you gonna add the liquid smoke? Because it's gonna give it a brand new taste. We got two teaspoons. That's it. Oh, I smell that. Now you know. When it comes to smoke, liquid smoke, you guys, I had no idea that it smells just as if you put it on a smoker. Now, I have done that in the past, and I still do it to this day. Put our four blend cheese in there. Mm-hmm. To make us some quick mac and cheese. Now the reason why I use two packs of pasta is because it was only eight ounces. And you know, on the holiday, I actually made my mac with the liquid smoke, and I didn't use, I did use nacho cheese. I did use nacho cheese. But, I couldn't find the nacho cheese that I went with. So, you know, as I was shopping, I said, you know, let me just go on and do an El, old El Pasto. Did I say that right? But anywho, I'm going to put us a little milk in here. Because of the thickness, just a little. Just to give it a looseness, yes. Uh-huh, you see that creaminess coming in there? Now you don't need any eggs for this at all. I'm going a little more. I love trying different things to spice up the old recipes, you guys. So if you are enjoying this, yes, I would love for you guys to come join the fam. Come join the fam. Let's see. 
a little more cheese. It's not gonna hurt anything. A little cheesy macaroni cheese don't never hurt anything. And there we go. Yes. Come together. This is a quick way to make some mac and cheese. Uh, I didn't know they had 60 second pasta. But we're gonna go and leave that like that. Just like so. And yeah, you guys gotta put a little cheese on top of this. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am. While you're viewing this, please share this video out. Share this video out. Show them what you can do in the kitchen. You guys, if you really can smell the smoke in this mac already, we're going to clean some of this up. And we're going to let this do its thing. So guys, we're going to let it sit so that it can cool. Now, like I stated before, this is definitely a replica of Famous Dave Mac and Cheese. You guys, it is so amazingly good. You will enjoy this mac and cheese with any and everything, okay? Especially if you're a lover of mac and cheese. I took it up a notch with the Smokehouse liquid okay and yeah you could try this recipe in any mac and cheese that you have you guys you don't have to buy the nacho cheese sauce you can just buy uh any cheese sauce ragu has a cheese sauce i love that that's the reason why i did not use that jar is because they were out of it in my neck of the woods as they call it but yes Add your little liquid smoke in your macaroni and cheese from scratch. And I guarantee you, it's a game changer. So, yeah, we're going to let this cool. And then your girl is going to go in and she's going to show you the creaminess. So, I need you guys to share this video out. Thumbs it up. Come join the fam. And, yes, leave a comment below so I'll know where to go. Yes. This is a game changer. Look at that cheese. So yeah, go tell the rest of the family.